Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Doggo33, and welcome back to The Political Machine 2020. Now, the last time we hopped into The Political Machine was more of a little test drive, just kind of mess around, have some fun. We created Adolf Hitler, ran on a platform of fascism, and single-handedly won in a landslide against the giant meteor, which kind of makes sense, seeing how um, it was advocating for giving frogs a right to vote, and then turning frogs into our leaders. Also, Nuclear Armageddon at an Reign of Fire, which is a good song, but a policy position, I don't know if that would actually work. But I am. I figured, because that was more of a silly game, it doesn't really, it wasn't an actual credible look at the actual game and how it works. So I figured, let's hop back in and do an actual you know, an actual campaign plays somewhat seriously and just try to win legitimately and have fun while we're doing it. That's all that matters. Before, real quick, I made mean, an having settings, but let's go ahead and hop in. I believe they um, add as many difficulty options, yeah. Um, so you can do game length, you can do the standard 21 weeks, we can do 28 weeks for an epic campaign. Or you could do a whole slog, 52 weeks of campaigning. Now that sounds kind of rough. I think we'll just go with normal for now. Random events, we could do normal, double, none, or half. We'll, get, we'll stick with normal. Keep the dynamics going. I believe they also adjusted the difficulties. So, hard difficulties are, the harder difficulties are actually harder. So, I think, with all that said... We're going to go ahead and go with the Democrats this time. Again, I think. And, um, hey Hitler, how are you doing? Um, so, they added a few new candidates since the last, uh, with the new update. They had, um, Hillary. On the Democrat side, and that's, I think that's actually about it, Hillary-wise. They didn't add this Hitler, it was a, Hitler was a, um, add-on, a custom-created character. Actually, I'm probably... Yeah, let's uh, let's forget this ever happened. Anyway, so today we're going to be playing as the senator, the independent senator from Vermont, currently running, still running, for the Democrat nomination, Bernie Sanders. Um, ideology, democratic socialism. Um, all right, stamina, all things considered. Fairly charismatic, average intelligence, media bias, indifferent. I'd argue to disagree. I'd say that's probably horribly wrong but what are you gonna do um respectable experience typical minority appeal and average starting money sanders is a self-proclaimed de social democrat from vermont whose progressive policies have proven very attractive to younger and more liberal voters even a heart surgery can't fi keep this senator from fighting for what he believes so i figure let's go with bernie Full disclosure, just in the interest of being transparent with you, Bernie's kind of my guy. I voted for him, just so you know, you guys know. Hopefully, me saying that won't turn the comments into an absolute fucking shit show. But, if anything political, what do you, what do you expect anymore? Um, so yeah, we're going to go with Mr. Bernie. And then we can pick our opponent. Now, we had a, <coughs> a few new opponents. Uh, we got Jeb. We got, I think we had Mitt before, but we had Rand Paul. And, uh, the Zodiac Killer himself, Ted Cruz. Um, I think we're, we're gonna go with Trump, just cause... Whoever wins the nomination at this point, which... Could go either way at this point. It's gonna have to fight Trump anyway, so we might as well get ahead, ahead of it. So we're going against Trump with Trumpian populism. A multi-billionaire businessman turned president, Trump has attracted disaffected voters with his vow to make America great again. His controversial rhetoric and combative tweeting, however, have turned him into a media pariah. Can he overcome the growing threat of impeachment and ride a strong economy to another victory? So he has hyper-stamina. Probably from all those drugs he's taken. The, um, what, diet pills? I forget what they are. Um... So it makes sense. Warm charisma, sharp intelligence, media fucking hates him. 
which yeah makes sense. Uh, outsider experience, some minority appeal, only some, and hell of a lot of money, like bank. He's as bank going for him. So that said, we got our candidates. The race for White House is underway. The current curtain has been raised, the bell has been rung, the gloves are off, and our two candidates, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, are coming out from their corners. Hailing from Vermont, Sanders leads the Democratic ticket against Republican New York native Trump. The two have a long road ahead of them, 21 weeks of campaigning, advertising, and traveling throughout the country, trying their best to prove their worth as the next president of the United States of America. Which one will emerge victorious? Only time will tell. So select a candidate. Then right-click on a state to move them there. Now take action in that state. Don't show again. I kind of know what to do. I think we're going to go ahead. Let's go to New York build a campaign officer just because I know um, Trump has a campaign officer there. So we need to stay competitive. Probably do the same in... um. Yeah. And we are actually out of energy. So that's about it for now. So yeah, the town hall as it has appeared. And uh Okay, let's go to Utah. Let's check that out. Got some ideology points, so we can go ahead and work on an ideology. Um what do we want to do? Hmm. What do we want to do? Diversity, protecting the environment, or social justice. Let's go diversity. America has been known as a great melting pot due to citizens tracing their ancestry across the globe. Even so, there are some who say America isn't diverse enough, arguing mandates should be put in place to overcome any institutionalized racism slash sexism present in our systems. Opponents are concerned that this would be another form of discrimination just against a different group and could lead to more divisiveness. Well, you know what? Nothing wrong with some diversity. So let's go ahead and endorse that. Then we could do gay marriage. Fighting systematic racism. Imagine this will be good to help get the minority vote, so we can maybe do that. And then I think we're actually going to go and build a campaign office in Arizona, because you can actually win Arizona fairly easily, at least in my test games, I've been able to. So, got a town hall to appear. I think we're going to go ahead and give a speech in Arizona. Let's talk about opposing the coronavirus it's only reasonable enough I support stopping the coronavirus so we got that going Arizona starting to lean our way I'll take that we'll head over to Nebraska and there's not too much we can do actually except really get ready for next turn so where am I gonna wanna go I think we'll go to Pennsylvania and not too much I can do. I can't endorse an ideology. I think we'll go for, um... Let's fight systematic racism. And then we can... Ooh, reparations for slavery. Let's read this real quick. Racism built into the system itself. We support policies that would even that playing field. Let's give that a shot. Um, there's also reparations for slavery, which... I don't think would be very popular if I endorse it. Whether or not it's a moral thing to do or not, I, I'm not going to... That's a whole other story. Now let's give a speech over here. Blue-collar jobs. You know what? I support blue-collar jobs. I really do. So we got a boost in Pennsylvania. And then... I found it pretty hard to win uh, Florida, actually, so I don't know if we'll go to Florida. But I'll add to Virginia, because that might be easy, uh, somewhat easy to grab. Town halls. Got one in Delaware. We're going to do a speech real quick. National gun registry. Border protection. A strong military. Diversity or fighting systematic racism. I support diversity. That's going to help my Democrat and independent approval. Maybe not so much Republicans, but you do the best you can with what you got. Let's go to Delaware. And then, do we want to go to New Mexico? Let's give it a shot. See what we get. Come on, something good. There we go, $500,000. I will take that. I will take that in a heartbeat. 
too early to predict a winner in the presidential race. With the fourth of the election process behind us, one has to shrug their shoulders when predicting a future winner in this race. So it's about even, which I can, uh, makes sense, I suppose. Uh, what are we going to, where should we go? Um, polling wise, we're good in Illinois. Let's try to lock, lock down Wisconsin. So let's build a uh, headquarters over there. And then give a speech. Actually, can we do another? We can endorse gay marriage. I think we could probably. We probably would go over pretty well. And then we can give a speech in Wisconsin. Um. Fixing the roads. For some reason, Republicans don't like roads being fixed. I don't know why. But, okay. Um, I support fixing roads. I gotta say, I do. I really do support fixing roads. And then, where do we want to, where do we want to go? Because we can go somewhere else. I just let's go to... Hmm, what's more valuable? I think Ohio is going to be the best bet. Try and grab that, get that going. Georgia's going pretty solidly red. Arizona's pretty solidly blue, actually, which is funny. Because that's not usually what the case. Um, diversity, finding systematic racism, blue-collar jobs. You know what? we got to help out those blue-collared workers. We really, we really do. Doesn't help our support too much, actually. Hmm. We're doing okay financial-wise. Or finance wise. Vote wise, we got more or less this section of the East Coast on lock. No, it's worth a shot. Let's try to get Florida back. Our town hall has appeared. Ooh, we have been invited to appear on Tucker Carson tonight. There's a show with an audience that skews America first. Tucker will ask questions about that working class voters are interested in learning more about. Let's go ahead and hear him though. Rural America is dying, malls are closing, and the threat of automation looms over the middle class. But hey, at least TVs are cheap. I'm Tucker Carson, and it's an honor to be on your TV tonight. Some filthy left-wing states have now le now have legal marijuana. There are now visible stink lines coming off of these places. What are you going to do about it? It's mostly harmless. It's stinky, but it's probably harmless, Tucker. Let them have their marijuana. Are you kidding me? You really think it's harmless? Yeah. It's certainly no more harmful than alcohol. Marijuana is something better treated as a public health issue rather than a criminal matter. Okay. Good audience response. The border of Mexico is in absolute chaos. Millions of illegals are already in the United States and more porn all the time. What would you do as president? Hmm. I think our border... I think they're doing an okay job. See, I don't think the border control can do it. It's a huge border. If it were me, I'd get the military down there. This is an issue of national security. If the terrorists know that our borders are wide open, we have to put a stop to it. The military... Sh putting the U.S. military on the border would be a disaster. It's highly aggressive and offensive to Mexico and risk getting innocent people killed. You're going to cause a diplomatic firestorm and maybe a trade war that way. The border simply isn't that out of control. See? Reasonable response. That's about wraps it for today. Stay free, America. I'm Tucker Carson. Good night. Let's see. Brave answer on Sanders impresses. Holy shit. California's gone purple. That is not good. Okay. Gotta build a head HQ there. Next turn. Speech. Um. Teaching Donald Trump. That doesn't do too much. LGBTQ rights, I support them. I think they should not be killed. And what do you know? We are winning right now? I'll take that. Um, let's go to Nevada. Give a little speech. Good jobs. Maybe not great jobs, but I support good jobs. Town Hall. Energy Independence. Let's go to Alabama real quick, and then where do we want to go? Let's go to Ohio. We can do it. We can put an ad out. What do we want to do? 
It, um... You know what? Donald Trump opposes blue-collar jobs. How about that, Don, huh? All right, we can pick our running mate. So who do we want to go with? Right now they're talking about Warren being the VP for Bernie, though that might just be so that they can give the endorsement out of her. So I'm not sure. Normal stamina. I'd like someone with a bit more stamina. Yang has some decent stamina. Who else? Gabber does too. Pete does as well. Um, Biden is too sleepy. Either Yang or Gabbard, I'm thinking. Because I think Yang and Gabbard mesh pretty well with Bernie and they have the hyper energy. Now let's go with Yang. An entrepreneur and dark horse candidate, Andrew Yang has brought universal basic income and the threat of automation to the 2020 debate. Can he convert his hashtag Yang Gang following into votes outside of a Twitterverse? Only one way to find out. Up Trump sports fracking. We're neck and neck right now. Okay, what do we want to do? I support protecting the environment. How about that? How about that, Donnie? Let's give a speech talking about blue collar jobs. We should head over to Michigan next. Try to get that back. I support the auto industry. I like cars. Nothing against them. Some of my best friends are cars. And you want it for pants? Yeah. Makes sense. Um, Yang's going in Flo into Florida. It's a good shot. Um, a good idea. Probably want to head to Town Hall. Where is it? Hawaii. Okay. Okay, we should go to Colorado. I'll build a headquarters there. That's all we can do. We'll get working on. What do we support? Let's stop that damn coronavirus, am I right? Then Minnesota. Let's go for farm subsidies, you know? Subsidize those farms. So, our voters are in pretty enthusiastic in Pennsylvania. Cal we need to work on enthusiasm. That's our big thing. Ooh, the Ben Sharp Show. This is a podcast run by conservative politician commentator Ben Sharp. Sharp is widely known for his love of debate and his combative style. Make sure you're compared or you'll be seeing Ben Sharp destroys presidential candidate all over the internet. Let's do it. A deck declared governor of California, a flurry of town on construction boost economic growth and Democrats get lost in a core maze today on the Ben Sharp show. As you know, that's a perfect impression of Ben Sharp. Tariffs are generally a bad idea. They put a government between a buyer and a seller and resort to the United cost for everyone involved. What is your position on tariffs? I think they are a tax on the American consumer. While I won't claim there's never a case from them, they are a tool that the government should only use as a last resort. Pro abortion advocates refer to unborn children as a cluster of cells and not being life, but if, a f but if we found the same cluster of cells on another planet, it would be hailed as a life on found on another planet. What's your position on it? We found clusters of cells on another planet? You know, I was, uh, it's a complex issue involving the argument between potential human life and the value of sentient awareness. I support a woman's right to choose. There we go. Thanks if you can for coming in and listening quietly while I talked. This is Ben Sharp with the Ben Sharp Show. That's pretty good. Uh, strong showing on the Ben Sharp Show wins independence. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we should head over to Ohio, put another campaign office, and give a speech. I support the environment. How about that? Get my enthusiasm up there. Um, where do we want to go next? Still kind of tight. Is there a state we can maybe pick off? I'm trying to figure that out. Maybe South Carolina. North Carolina is pretty solidly red. 
So I don't know how well we can do that. Might want to go to Washington at some point. Now let's go to South Carolina. Build a headquarters. Let's give a speech. Traditional values? That's not a very Bernie thing. State unions, America first. Stopping the coronavirus. We gotta stop that corona. And then what else? Let's go to Connecticut. Get that more on lock. No clear outcome as the weeks begin to dwindle for Sanders and Trump. Shoot, yeah. Um, I support fighting the coronavirus. Okay, that's gone red. That's not a... Go to Rhode Island. And then... Let's go to Washington. Try to lock down... If we can lock down this segment of the West Coast, this part of the East... We're pretty much good. I don't want to jinx things, but Trump supports building a wall. There you go. Um, build a campaign office. Let's talk about... Let's, I oppose escalation against Iran. How about that, Donnie? And then Ohio is just... New York is close, too. We got, should head back over there. Um, I support Israel. Shit. Just went red in Ohio. We gotta do something on blue-collar jobs. I don't know if we can win Ohio. Actually. South Carolina's... Fuck. Okay, we gotta go ahead. Let's tax the, tax the rich. Let's get an ad out. Um, what do we want to... I support good jobs. What can I say? I'm a fan of jobs. Town Hall. Let's go right over there. Dro deporting illegal aliens. Okay. Let's address climate change. How about that? Ooh, these states are a lot bluer than I kind of anticipated. Let's head over to Missouri. Put an ad out on addressing climate change. I think that'll be good. Ooh. Months of dry weather across the nation has led to water restrictions, brown lawns, and filthy, filthy cars. Even more troubling is the impact on the nation's agricultural sector, and farmers are now demanding the government provide assistance to provide their to protect their livelihoods. At this point, the Stroud is a sign that the nation can no longer ignore the threat of global warming and demand climate candidates prove it, provide answers about how they'll address this glowing crisis. So it's like climate change is going to be very big. So... Yeah, there we go. I'll speak in Iowa, and then... Well, Missouri, then Iowa. Let's do farm subsidies. And it is the last day of the campaign, so... Just gotta hold off and see what happens. So let's see. Maine, blue. Alright. We won Vermont, who'd have thought? Okay. Ooh, okay. That went red. That could have gone either way. Shit. Ohio flipped. Kept Michigan. Chicago. Wisconsin. We got Missouri. Iowa. Minnesota. Uh, there we go. This is start. This is kind of our firewall right now. This is what it's going to be close, but there we go. We got it.
There we go. Sanders wins. Sanders has won the day and the presidency with a strong showing in both the popular vote and the electoral college. One of the deciding factors was Sanders' use of in Sanders' victory was his use of ideological points, which he used more extensively than Trump. Trump spent uh, Sanders spent less money than Trump, which just goes to show that you don't have to buy your victory. So let's check the exit polls. Mm. Drought assistance. That helped us out in Iowa big time. Deporting illegal aliens. A lot of people vote one with me on the issue. Environment, energy independence, fracking. Diversity. Go figure, a lot of people like diversity. Oh shit, Don actually won the popular vote this time, but lost the ele electoral college. Well, you know what? If it worked in 2016, god damn it, it can work. It works here now. That is the system we live in. That's just how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. So, solid map. I'll take it. Um... West Virginia wasn't too much of a flip state as we thought, actually. Um, anywhere where it was really close. It was very close in South Carolina. I know... Iowa is pretty... Come dry. Missouri, not so much. How about... I know some of these states were flipping a little bit. But... Texas... Yeah, Texas was... Is probably going to be pretty red. How about... Yeah, makes sense. Well, ladies and gentlemen, goes just goes to show you, Bernie can defeat Trump. So, that's about it for now, folks. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike and we'll see more of my content. If you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more uploads every weekday as well as every Saturday. If you have any comments, feedback, concerns, anything of the sort, leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get and appreciate any and all feedback you might I'd have for me. If you want to support me financially, I have a Patreon down below. Go ahead and send a few bucks my way if you are so inclined. I also have a Discord down below if you want to check that out. We can chat, play games, and just have a grand old time generally. That's about it, folks. My name has been Doggo333, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.